Alright, what's up guys, Adam here. Welcome back to the 64th episode of the Milan Career Mode. I was looking through the comments, there was some suggestions for some players, but other than that, it's just been comments of support in this series, and I really do appreciate you guys still wanting to watch this 64 episodes in, 6 seasons in, going on season 7. I really don't have much to actually go by in this episode. I think what we're gonna be doing is leaving the team how it is for right now this season, see if we can get out of maybe this hole that we're in not that we're doing poorly it's just some of the players i feel are underperforming and that's the struggles of going through the seasons maybe things need to change in the summer for milan and next season maybe we can sign ourselves one or two players if we see that maybe we're not up the standards that we have been in the past couple of seasons i don't really have that much to show you this episode i brought back the objectives you guys are going to see them up to date maybe i could show you like a concept of the third kit i have been working on for next season but we're currently on deadline day so what i think i'm gonna do before showing you the challenges let's just simulate a couple of days and like i said guys we're gonna keep these players see what happens next season with the contract see about like how the players are aging because i know romagnoli is getting up there with age we've got kessie well 29 30 i i don't want to see them go but we'll see what happens also there are some new faces added to the save that you're going to be seeing in the link in the description if you want to go check it out it's from fcb uh, that's i guess what his name is but he added more faces and they're all modded into the game for some of the players we're starting off with a transfer offer from montanari this is a guy i wanted him to go out on loan he looks very very promising tall strong good speed on him italian center forward striker but there hasn't been any loans for him with four hours left it doesn't look like there's gonna be anything yes there was some suggestions maybe we might need somebody but like i said we're gonna keep this up until the end of the season see if we can win a third champions league in a row another scudetto and maybe the coppa italia but guys it's looking very very tough I've ever started one of these episodes with a simulated match. This one's coming up against Fiorentina. And before that, let's take a look at the objectives. So yeah, currently the player with the most goals in Serie A is Erling Haaland with eight, guys. Only eight goals scored by one of our strikers. We're trying to break 36 and we're almost halfway through the season. We're going to need a massive, like like just a massive second half of the season we've got gunning for gunner now lofgren sits at 110 and i did put erling holland he currently has 39 goals in all competitions since he joined the last season and i'm also maybe looking at a, a striker for next season if maybe things don't go our way we do have these latan ibrahimovic regen who's just tearing it up at manchester united so maybe he can join us the guy is like six foot he's got high low work rates he even has like a ponytail like zlatan did have it's just like the perfect regen i saw and no i didn't mess with it i wouldn't actually do that but his height was there his work rates are there so maybe we could look at zlatan's regen next season the invincibles currently sits at 13 started against fiorentina we're taking them on right once a we're taking them on once again we've got keeping it clean donnarumma with nine clean sheets needs to break 21 milan legend gijo donnarumma with 450 appearances to date looking for 902 Two in all competitions i wish i would have kept how many he played in Serie A because maybe he's getting close to that ronaldo record breaker we're trying to beat 17 we're only at six in the champions league and it's erling holland and he's suspended for the next match against psg so there's that that's gonna be tough and the final objective slash challenge the goals 34 goals we need to break 118 we're only at 34 guys we we're really not scoring that many goals this season i've also been doing like a little bit of a, a project on Davide Calabria I've been training him as a defensive midfielder so maybe as he gets older he starts to drop in some speed maybe he transitions into a defensive midfielder a midfielder and we can get somebody with a lot of speed at right back right now Teo Hernandez showing no signs of slowing down 99 pace the guy 28 years old has a lot of good years ahead of him let's fix around the lineup let's get this victory guys I'm scared about quick simulating but they're down in 17th place Fiorentina really hasn't been doing well well, let's go Colombo and Lofgren up top. Let's quick simulate this match. It's going to be a 2-1 victory. Lofgren scoring in the fourth minute. Then Erling Haaland coming on and scoring. So that's great for the two strikers, guys. I'm so happy about that. And it's only a 2-1 victory. 
Fiorentina giving us a scare. Alga has been talking about playing him out of position, but I've actually been training him there in last episode. He, he had such a fantastic time scoring, assisting, doing so, so well. Interest in Tove. My interest for him went away after like the first season. We've got Bologna coming up next. And then we do have Napoli in the Coppa Italia. This is the semi-finals first leg. Yes, it absolutely is. Milan-Napoli semi-finals. Inter-Juve, which I still didn't get the names, but I'm going to try to have that by next season. So let's simulate Bologna once again. I know a lot of simulation, but they're in ninth. But I'm still going to go ahead and simulate. Get the game against Napoli. Get the game against Inter. The game against Juve. The game against PSG. Look at the string of games. Napoli. Napoli, Inter, Juve, PSG in the first leg. The Napoli, guys, this might be very, very tough. Also, I've been writing down all the challenges and objectives throughout the, well, this episode. We're going to go a little bit different today since we're going to be, you know, doing the visual simulation because they are up in ninth place, Bologna. We're going to be starting with this. We've got Maldini who's actually playing as a central midfielder. I have been training him there and we'll see what happens. Leao and Lorenzo Colombo up top. I want my two main strikers for the next game coming up against Napoli. They scored in that first game. Maybe if we need them here, they can come on. But we're going Gravenberch, Locatelli, and Maldini in midfield. And Pellegrini right behind the two strikers. Colombo, Leao. And let's see if these guys can get it done. Oh, a free kick from 38 yards. Am I going to jump in and attempt this? I don't know if I'm going to go for goal. Who has a lot of power? Leao... Uh, pretty much right now looks like Rafael Leao would be the best player to try and take this long free kick. Why not try to score something spectacular, Leao? If he can. I hope he can. Rafael Leao from 38 yards out. Can we please just put something in? Did you see the effect on that? I thought it was going to dip in the bottom, like the top left corner. And Leal, yes, did get a new face. I don't know if you guys did notice. I said there's a new face back. And why not just play the rest of this game? Because it seems like the simulation is giving us nothing. That's a great looking ball to Orsolini. And it's Bologna who take the lead in the 68th, 69th minute with a pass from Fabio Silva. And that's in the back of the net, guys. That's what I said. We're going to see how the season goes, see what we need to strengthen. And there, just a, a ball that splits open the defense. And we might lose our Invincibles run, guys. Yeah, we're going to take a we're gonna take a loss against Bologna. It's going to be our Invincibles run over against Bologna. We have to start from zero. That's a loss, guys. Maybe we should have just... Uh, that's annoying. That's really annoying. Maybe we should have just continued the simulation against Bologna. Now four big games in a row. None bigger than the one against PSG Napoli in the first leg of the Coppa Italia semifinals. I wish Teo would stop wearing long sleeves, but I'm pretty sure it's because we're playing like in the winter right now. So that's why it's cold. So he wears long sleeves. So we can't really see his tattoo. In last episode, I put a tattoo on Lofgren and it just disappeared. I don't know why. <laughs> so <laughs> I tried putting it back on and it's still not showing. I don't know. Maybe there's a glitch with the tattoo or there's a glitch with Lofgren. They, they don't want him to have tattoos. Romagnoli starting with the armband today and Ben Acer trying to get Teo forward. And that is a bad pass by Ismail. Romagnoli. Kessi. Lovely by Kessi. Sandro. I was for Ben Acer, but finds Olof. Now looking to use a bit of skill here, but the defender is just tracking him the entire time. Sees everything. Napoli, nothing in attack. Just all defense this game. Holland, can he find Lofgren? Yes, he can. Lofgren, put this in. Let's go. It's another one for Olof this episode. Great ball. Great finish. 1-0. Ben Acer just puts that one through. Tight angle and Lofgren with the goal. Need a lot better from you, Lofgren, but three games in this episode he's got two goals and he only played like a couple of minutes last time out hopefully continuing let's get another one Olaf it's a good counter attack Lozano now trying to find Daniel Malin Contesiao got to that one De Rosa and Pulisic is there to just tap it in at the back post Contesiao with a massive block and De Rosa maybe with the mistake should have came out and attacked the ball instead but he gets beaten at the near post there. There's nothing. What a clutch counterattack by Napoli. He was right there. He was right there, De Rosa. And Pulisic scoring. It's now 1-1. Why did Colombo start going and then 
picked up. Teo, did he get a touch to that? He didn't. Tonali gonna get forward to Lovgren. Good ball to Colombo. Keep going, Lovgren. Keep going, man. Don't stop, man. Why did it take you seven months to make your run? Good block by Teo. Get in there, boys. Lovgren. This has got to be yours. That's a great ball. And it's off the bar. Well, it shows that they have a good defender. Edel Militao has let nothing through. Okay. It was written. That might be another loss, guys. Okay. Don't know who he is. Don't know where he came from. But he finds the back of the net and it's 2-1. So bright at the beginning. And then just second half came and just forgot how to make runs. Kessie. Maldini now. Good ball to Maldini. But Pulisic is everywhere. He's up. He's down. He's left. He's right. There's nothing as... Kessie, I thought he got to that one. Napoli going to be handing us an L. And the first leg of the Coppa Italia, two away goals, nothing more we can do. Great thing about Ben now is he didn't drop when he played as a central midfielder, but maybe he didn't go up by as much. We're going to go Gravenberch, Tonali, Ben Acer. Auge is going to make way for Pellegrini. Let's go Tomiasu, Romagnoli, Gigio and goal. It's a rainy day here at San Siro. Maybe next season we could do something like maybe move into a new stadium because Inter and Milan are looking at new stadiums so maybe we can make it so that we move into a new one and maybe we could take a team that's actually not in like the the competition so like the rest of the world an actual licensed stadium if they do have and we can make it the new San Siro or the new Milan Stadium whatever you guys want to call it maybe that could be exciting as well because San Siro they have plans to move out of it in real life so maybe we can do that Right now, let's focus on getting back to winning ways as Gravenberch look at the pressure by Bustos. It's going to be another game like Napoli. Cross comes in. Icardi. Donnarumma didn't need to struggle that much on it. Really didn't need to struggle that much on it. Gijo now, all the way forward. Can he find Holland? It's going to find Lofgren. Now Pellegrini. Go Erling. Uh, okay, we're taking this one wide now. Erling Holland now. Back into Benacer. That's a lovely ball to Ismail. He's going to take it on his own, Ismail. Take it on his own, Ismail. And why is it showing Gravenberch? Where did he get a yellow? i not understanding. Look at that instantly. Holland. I don't know what kind of touch that was, but Pellegrini now can send forward. Yes, Lofgren. Come on, Lofgren. Lay this off to Pellegrini. Lay this off to Pellegrini. Ivan Pellegrini scoring. And Pellegrini. Oh, my God. Finally something. Finally something. And we take a 1-0 lead in the derby. Assisted by Lofgren. Erling Holland. Good pass to Pellegrini. Holland could have shot but decided to lay it off. Could have went horribly wrong. But Pellegrini finding the back of the net. S super underrated guys. Fourth goal in the Serie A. It's 1-0. Lovely by Gravenberch. So good guys. Whoever suggested him to me. You're a legend. Dutch, real face. Historically, Milan signed these Dutch players and Pellegrini finds Lofgren. Come on, Olaf. Come on, Olaf. Come on, Olaf. Big hole at the back. And it's 2-0. Lofgren scoring once again. Hopefully back to his best. A goal and assist. And it's 2-0 in the derby. Locatelli. Davide Calabria. Kessi. Okay. All right. Pellegrini now, Ivan, can he find Erling Haaland, great ball, great shot, great goal, Pellegrini, a goal and two assists today, Erling Haaland with one as well, let's go guys, ball roll here, is Erling Haaland now in behind, can he find his strike partner please, let's get him another goal, as, that's off the post, GG guys, great game, as Lofgren with a goal, an assist, Pellegrini a goal to assist, Erling Haaland with a goal as well, Gigio Donnarumma with the clean sheet, three goals in a game guys, it's been rare this season but it's going to be a big victory at the San Siro in another derby. Auge, no late, Auge you played fantastic last episode, this time Pellegrini is showing that he wants to play, we're going to go Kessi Tonali and Ben Acer. and then we have Locatelli, we have Gravenberch and we have Maldini for substitutes maybe I could save Holland and oh no he's actually he's not available for the next match against uh, against PSG so we're gonna start Holland 
We're going to start Rafael Leao instead of Lofgren just because uh, I want to have him ready. Remember last time he played PSG, I think he scored a hat-trick. Calabria is going to need a substitute throughout the game. So let's bring on Vandalan. I'm not going to be using Tommy. I uh, need... <laughs> See, this is the thing, guys. Let's go Kalulu if we need to and just try not to get absolutely battered with a lot of rotation here. Leao, we've got Holland up top. We're going to be going with our away kit. Let's see if we can get a big victory against Juve. Oh, you can also see Artur's face in action. If maybe they sign... Oh yeah, they have Pug. Pug, whatever his name is. And my camera's in the way, so you weren't able to see it. But he's got a real face. Rookie Pug. Pug. No idea how to pronounce it. Playing the fake Juve. There's Leao's real real face without like his actual hair now, but he shaved it. Ben said, you guys saw all those faces. Yes, there he is as I'm talking about him. And what is going on with his undershirt? This game is a disaster. Let's win against Juve. Because last time, they beat us 2-0. Well, I'll be okay if it finishes 0-0, but... Because nothing. No, but that's not... Pellegrini right back to Concesiao. Now Calabria. You need to maybe take him off soon, Davide. As Kessi. Okay, just as I say that, let's get in an early cross. There is Erling Haaland. Something at least. As Gedson. Any sort of attack will take as Pellegrini now. There's a couple of guys in there. That's not a good... Erling Haaland out jumping Henderson. I just said that's not a good delivery. And Erling Haaland out of absolutely nothing gets us the first goal of the game. It's 1-0. And Ben has said, okay, you know what? That's the smartest play we can absolutely do. As Contesiao now. He's been having a decent game here. Ben Hazard. Erling Haaland, can he find him in? Good ball. Erling Haaland just tries to hit it because being closed down. Calabria. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I thought I was going to win that back. Let's actually take Calabria off now. I'm taking this 1-0 victory. And I'm rolling with it. Referee, there's no time for them to get forward. But we're at Juve Stadium, so you never know. It's going to be a 1-0 victory, guys. Erling Haaland with the goal that came from absolutely nothing. And it's a big three points against league leaders Juve. Piemonte Calcio, look at that. Miss goal. That's all that happened in this game. 52% possession, 48% possession. We had more shots. They had no shots on target, guys. All right, going back to this for this game. We have Erling Haaland who has himself too many yellows. So he got a red card. He's not going to be able to start in this match. We're going to go for the 4-2-3-1 because I, I think... This can maybe work out for us. Gigio, Calabria, Tomiasu, Romagnoli, Teo, and Benacer, Sandro, Pellegrini, Auge, Gravenberch, right behind the striker, which is Olaf Lovgren. A 4-2-4 for PSG. That's a very attacking formation. Might be exposed at the back. This is a big game to start off in the round of 16 at the Parc des Princes. So yeah, take a look at how we've been drawn up. Then there's Real Madrid, Herder Berlin, Spurs, Ghent, Inter, Spartak, Man City. Dortmund, there's Sporting, I forgot ex exactly who, and hopefully we can do it with this lineup, we're missing our striker who has the most goals, like it or not, he's maybe not performing as like I'd love him to, but he, he has the most goals in the team, second is obviously Olaf Lovgren, there we are lining up in the Champions League, such a big episode, so many big games, Juve, PSG, we had Inter, we had Napoli, so a, a ton of like exciting games and ones that when we needed to get the points, we got them. They've still got Mbappe. They've got Andrea Belotti out on the left wing for some reason. So it's nice to see Andrea Belotti still playing football despite maybe his age right now. Let's take on PSG. I wanted to wear the black kits. They're wearing their white kits. And like I said, 4-2-4. Four, 4-2-4 two, four. Four, two, four might actually be like something good for us. And last time we played PSG, I think it was a Lovgren hat trick. They've got Kante, they've got Kimpembe. Look at Lovgren. He comes alive in the Champions League. Only has, what, three, four goals this season in the Champions League. But no doubt in my mind that this guy maybe is feeling pressure from Erling Haaland. That's why, I don't know, guys. You never know what happens. But there's an idea of maybe to bring Zlatan's regen to the club. And maybe Holland could join another team for something more than we actually bought him for. As Tonali now just forced to go backwards to Gigio Donnarumma. Donnarumma sends forward to Lofgren. Pellegrini maybe is playing at right winger today. That's uh, 
It's a poor touch for Gravenberch. I know it's a lot to ask for him. He's still young. He's still developing. Right now, our established midfielders are Benacer, Kessi, Locatelli, Tonali. But Gravenberch, it's a lot to ask for him playing maybe as an attacking midfielder in Auge. Maybe he can perform so well at left wing instead. Maybe he could have played Leal. But this is the lineup I felt can do big things here against PSG. Gravenberch, Sandro Tonali looking to break here as Tonali now. Sends a great ball to Lovgren. He's got Kempembe on him. Lovely turn by Lovgren. Gulashi with a big save. Maybe Lovgren just works in a one striker formation so much better. Just on the edge of the box. And Gulashi with a great save there. As we've got a big corner once again. Last time we scored through all and Ganteo gets something. Comes out to Tomiyasu. Thought maybe a penalty there but a free kick against Teo Hernandez and Milan. Alright Tomiyasu go. Go Tomiyasu! What a challenge by Takeiro. What a challenge by Takeiro on Mbappe. How was that an, an incredible challenge? Referee blows the whistle for the first half to end Tomiyasu with a crucial challenge. Stopping Mbappe, not giving away a penalty. And it's nil nil at halftime. Good pressure by Belotti and Mbappe like reaches around him. Tomiyasu, that's a great challenge by Takeiro. Go Ivan. Gravenberch, good pass, right back out to Pellegrini, can he find Lovgren in the box, Olaf, Love, Love, are you kidding me man, that's like the second time he hits off the post in this episode, that came from absolutely nothing, and now PSG on the counter attack, not really much of an attack right here, even though they're playing 4-2-4, they just seem to not do much, and Lovgren off the post, Lodi now, Calabria, that's a great block, block by Davide, Saul now, Ben I said I tried to anticipate that one. Conte, they're just gonna drive forward and try to get in. Tonali, good block by Sandro. Gravenberch, Lovgren, stay on side, man. Gravenberch, keep going. Fine, Lovgren, and he held his run. Please tell me he held his run as Lovgren needs this. Lovgren needs this. Lovgren gets this. And it's 1 0, guys. Great ball by Gravenberch. And that's like the second or third time Lovgren does that celebration. Is that? His new celebration. <laughs> Let's go, Lovgren. Big goal in the Champions League here as Gravenberch. He holds his run so well. Teo was getting forward, but this time he's not laying it off. He's finding the back of the net. Good dribbling by Rafael Leao. Alges going. I don't know what just happened there. Alges moved to attacking midfielder. Gravenberch came off. Leao came on on the left hand side. And now Mbappe. Tomiyasu going in a little bit too early there. Why did it look like Calabria had an injury? I'm going to be so mad. Azaniolo now. Where's Donnarumma gone? Good block. A lot better by PSG. Lofgren. Not what I wanted. Just a simple pass to Auge. Now Belotti. Zaniolo. Benacer. Really not letting him any time on the ball. As Lofgren sends forward Jens. Let's go Jens. And he drop it back in. This is lovely by Jens. Finds Rafael Leao. Now Leao inside the box. This is lovely by Leao. What a goal by Rafael Leao. Take a bow, man. What a goal by Rafael Leao. And it's 2-0 in the 90th minute, guys. What a way to hopefully kill off this game. Auge, just great turn. Now Leao puts it through the defender. And what a finish. It's got to show him putting it through. Marquinhos just looked like an amateur there. And Leao coming on, scoring. The part de Prince is silent, guys. He still maybe has a spot here despite him maybe not performing. Leao with the goal. And it's 2-0. Nice. It's going to be a 2-0 victory, guys, to take to the San Siro. It hopefully wasn't going to be PSG to knock us out. Zaniolo came on. There was like an instant shift in momentum. But then just one last attack. Leao with a great goal. Lovgren with the goal. And a big 2-0 victory to take to the San Siro. Yeah, look. Auge with the ball. Look at Rafael Leao. Just puts it past Marquinhos. I thought he nutmegged him, but that is lovely by Rafael Leao. And he can just oh, finish such a great ball. And to end off the episode, hopefully with a big victory, guys. I'm just going to go ahead and quick simulate after that big victory. I'm sure this can be a big victory. That's going to be 3-0 
What in the world is it saying aggregate 5 1 at the top? Like, this game is a disaster. Two goals by Erling Holland. Come on, Holland. Ben Acer with one as well. Lofgren came off for Pellegrini. Contesia with a yellow card. We dominated that match. So, yeah, that's how we currently sit, guys. Semi finals, a 2 1 loss against Napoli. It can maybe play it now, but just it's going to go on for way too long. In the Serie A, we're currently in first place. 59 points, one ahead of Napoli. Look at, like, the tight race. Milan, Napoli, Juve's there, and then Inter are a little bit far away. Roma not doing that good. They're in sixth. Atalanta there. Lazio, too. There is Fiorentina down in dead last, guys. Fiorentina is awful in this career mode at this point in time. Milan, 2-0 over PSG. Real Madrid, 2-1 over Berlin. Inter, 4-1 over Spartak. Like I'm saying, guys, I, I would love to see maybe a Derby Champions League final or an All-Italian Champions League final. There's still Roma. There's still Napoli, guys. I would love to see that somewhere down the line. But that is a big victory against PSG. An even bigger one against Udinese. And currently, the stats of the team. Gigio Donnarumma sitting at 31 games with 18 clean sheets. Lovgren, 16 goals. We've got Erling Haaland with 21. So Lovgren, a, a little bit more scoring this game. Holland missing out on the Champions League game. Auge with six. Pellegrini with five. Colombo four. Leal with three. And none bigger than that one last game. Gravenberch two. Benacer. And then the rest of the players. Romagnoli with a goal. Teo. Tonali. Daniel Maldini with one as well. And if we take a look at maybe some of the players who are out on loan. We could see how their development is. Gogoladze. The Georgian. Hasn't really grown that much. Nino Kasun. The Croatian midfielder. Up by plus one. Sera up by plus two. Now to a 66 Savchenko up by plus three the Ukrainian really looking forward to seeing him Stangs has gone up by plus two on loan at Spurs so maybe he's doing very very well Trubaliyazevsky the goalkeeper up by plus one Maniani look at him the Albanian attacking midfielder 78 overall guys maybe when he comes back he could actually slot into the team Grassi up by plus one Kurniakis up by plus one and we're gonna wait to promote those other players from the academy if you guys have enjoyed this episode you guys can leave me a like down below i never showed you the concept of the third kit but maybe i can do so in the next episode thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you next time